Consistency is always going to get you growth in life. Anytime you are trying to improve something and you are consistent, you are going to see the changes that you want to make in your life. And that goes exactly with mindset, which I'm going to be breaking down in this video today to show you why it's important that you're consistent in doing the mindset work and also give you some tips that you can implement today to start being consistent. I'm Emily and I'm here to inspire and empower you to become the best version of yourself in your life and in your business. If you have not done so yet, do me a favor, hit the like button and the subscribe button and also make sure that your notifications are turned on as I have just recently started posting in my community tabs, posting updates, polls, any kind of communication with all of my subscribers in my community tabs. So to get started in this video, I really wanted to break down on why it's so important that you're consistent in mindset work and also share my story of how I got started really being consistent, um, what drove me to start personal development and all these things so that way you can understand it doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter what your story is. You can always change it at any point in time and start doing the work and being consistent and watching your life just transform because that is basically what happened to mine. When I started doing the work, everything just really transformed for me. So I will start with like why it's so important for to be consistent. If you are not consistent at anything in your life, you're not going to see growth. Take for example, working out. If you go one day a week, you might see, you know, a little progress, but not much. If you go three or four times a week, you're going to see a lot more progress because you're being consistent. The same way with learning a new language. I've been trying to learn Spanish, but I'm not consistent. I know bits and pieces, but I'm not making progress the way that I should be making progress, right? So anything that you're trying to learn or change, you have to be consistent at. Also, if you view consistency from a communication or relationship standpoint, if you are not consistent with communicating or trying to build a relationship, it may not go anywhere. So everything in life is really based on how consistent do you want to be at it. And yes, we go through phases in our life where we no longer need the consistency, but at the same time, the consistency will help us build those patterns and those behaviors that we do want to build in our life. For me, when I started working out, I had to get into the consistent of committing to four days a week of working out to see the results that I wanted to see. Over time, that built a behavior, that built a pattern to where now I don't even think about it, right? I don't even have to have a consistency tracker to be like, yep, I'm going to go work out because it's now part of my behavior. It's a habit, right? It's building those habits. And it's so important when we think about mindset and we want to change our mindset and we want to be in this growth mindset, if we're not consistent at doing the work and showing up to do that work, we're going to stay stagnant. And when I first started out in personal development, I literally was just so tired of being in this mindset of where I, I wasn't positive, like I was super negative to start with. And then I switched from negative to being positive on the outside, but still negative on the inside. That's a whole other topic. But I wasn't consistent with what I was doing to pour into myself to understand mindset, my mindset, and to actually do the work. And so when I started out, I decided, you know what, I'm going to watch, you know, a motivational video every morning. I'm going to read 10 minutes, like whatever I could do in my morning routine, I started implementing that. And that's kind of how I started. I started watching out some very motivational videos on how to grow your mindset. I would hear something from these videos. I would try to implement at least one thing that I heard or I read into my life every day. Like one example, if, if, if they said, you know, gratitude is is everything for mindset, right? Being thankful. I would try to make an extra effort of all day long being thankful and just continue to build upon that practice. So I started out with personal development, just watching videos, listening to a lot of podcasts that were very um, self-help growth mindset, and then kind of transferred into that to more of a journaling, to writing down what I was feeling, how I was feeling. All this being said, that was in a span of like, 
three or four years where I watched the motivational video or I would listen to a podcast as I'm getting ready for work. And then I would also read a lot. And then that led into doing an online course uh, called Alignment. I'm not sure what it was called, but it was called Alignment something of how to start aligning things in your life and doing that work and implementing those practices into my life was really helpful and to help me grow my mindset. This then helped me evolve. And as I stayed consistent, I realized I kept growing and growing and growing. And now I was to the point where I needed something more. That's where during COVID, I had this huge transformation when I actually started implementing um, meditation to understand, one, to feel the stillness and the peace because meditation like changed my life. <laughs> I will have to do a video over that. But meditation changed my life in a sense of it was stillness and it was calming. At the same time, I was also able to calm my mind enough to be aware of where my mindset was at and what programming I had. So the awareness of it really blew my mind because I had no idea of like the kind of mindset that I had. I am very, very resilient. I have a very resilient mindset. So my entire story speaks for that, you know, being very, very resilient, but I don't necessarily, I didn't have that mindset of, you know, these are the areas I need to work on because I had a lot of negative, negative self-talk going on and I wasn't sure on how to reverse that, right? I had this mindset of scarcity around money, around love, all these things. And so it started evolving, growing as I meditated and sat, you know, some time in stillness. And then that led me to start investing in coaches and mentors that could really help me get a mindset where I wanted to be at, where I could start unpacking the past, where I could start healing those areas that were so incredibly painful and where I started, you know, doing the work. And I share this because had I not been consistent with showing up for myself and doing the work, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Consistency is so, so important. And yes, there's going to be phases where you might go a couple days and you realize, man, I need to get back into that because that made me feel really good. There's some times where I slip on my consistency now in the meditation and the journaling phase because that's really the mindset work that I've been doing a lot here recently is meditation and journaling and really just working with one-on-one -on -one, um, mentorship to understand, you know, this is where I'm at. This is what I would like to be guided through. And that really has been helpful. And I've seen with my clients as well as when they go into these downward spirals of like, I can't figure this out in my life, whether it's in their business or their personal relationships or whatever it is, I just re have to remind them, like, what's your daily routine been? And have you gone away from what we actually created for you to be consistent at. Because a lot of times we just have to be reminded that we've gone away from our consistency factor and we're no longer showing up the way we did, should have been showing up. And a lot of times, you know, life happens. You know, you have kids, you have family, you have things that come up, you have, you get busy at work, you're focusing on something else and we forget the consistency side. Kind of like, you know, if you stop working out or you make some changes, you might gain some weight back or you might lose some muscle, right? So the consistency has to be there to build that pattern, to build that behavior. And it can be very challenging, especially if it pushes you out of your comfort zone. And it's not necessarily something that you have done in the past. And doing the mindset work isn't necessarily something that a lot of people talk about and how to actually begin. There's no right or wrong way, but it's like, where are you at now? Deciding where you're at now and where you want to be at. So that's really, it's really, really important if you don't get anything else out of this video to understand consistency is going to get you growth every single time. As long as you're consistent, you're constantly doing, you're constantly showing up. You'll see with mindset and internal work as you start within a couple months, not even a couple months, but within a month, if you stay consistent, you're going to see massive growth. And then you might get to a point where you're like, I can't do it on my own. That's where you look to hire someone to help you. Or you look at where do I need to go? You already have the answers within you. But if you can't get that answer on like, what do I need at this point? That's when a good mentor or a guide or a coach or whatever you want to, whatever you feel called to uh, work with can help you. 
but don't get caught up in like, I need someone all the time and the rest of my life because that's not really how it works. I tell all my clients that you should never be hooked on working with someone for the rest of your life. But as you grow, there's times and seasons for that. It's just kind of like people that go through therapy, there may be times and seasons that they need therapy and then other times they're like, I'm good. And that it's just a flow. It's just how life flows. So the importance of consistency is really, really important, especially in mindset. And understand it has to be consistent in order for you to grow. You have to be committed just like anything else in life. Relationships, you have to be committed. You have to have that consistency. Losing weight, same thing. Gaining muscle, same thing. Growing um, different businesses, same thing. You have to have the consistency. And so the tips that I wanted to share with you um, for your consistency is one, uh, so I kind of have gone back and forth with this. If you're a very type A person like I am and very structured, <laughs> this may work for you. But if not, it may not work for you. So um, one is understanding where you are currently at. Determine where you want to be at. And then where you want your mindset to be at. Sometimes that can be hard for us to determine where do I really want to be at. So if you know someone that has a strong mindset and you're like, yeah, I want to like have that kind of mindset then that can kind of give you a goal not to compare yourself to that person, but where you want to be at. So for me, I wanted to be in a mindset of where I was never in a scarcity mindset of like having the fear of not having enough money, having fear around love, having fear of failure. Like I was tired of that scarcity, low vibration mindset. And I wanted to get out of that mindset. I also um, wanted to get out of the self-doubting mindset. I wanted to have like very strong um, self-belief in myself and have self-confidence and also I wanted to have very strong faith and trust. Faith in a sense of like I am led by a higher power, um, universe, God, source, whatever you want to call it. That's I know that and I wanted to have such strong faith and such strong trust that that I know, right? So those were kind of the mindset growth points that I wanted to have and then I asked myself what do I have to get what do I have to do to get to that point? And some of those things, you know, were being very aware of where my pattern and my programming was at so that way I could reprogram those things. And when it comes to reprogramming things, I've talked about this in other videos about limiting beliefs and those types of things. You can go and reprogram your brain. It does take work. But again, with consistent work, you will get there. I promise you will get there. And so with the consistency is understanding where do you want to be at, right? Where you are at, where do you want to be at? And then create a consistency tracker. This consistency tracker works whether you have business, whether you are trying to work out, whether you are trying to journal straight for whatever it is. But this consistency tracker is really easy for you to create. You can write it on a piece of paper. You can write it. You can put it in your phone, wherever it is. And what you do is you figure out on this tracker, how often are you gonna do this work? Are you gonna do it once a day? Are you gonna do it morning, night? What time are you gonna do it? Be very specific with this consistency tracker so that way, when you look at it, you know, five days a week, every morning, I'm going to do X, Y, Z. I'm gonna watch a video or I'm gonna work through this course or I am going to meditate so I understand my patterns or I am going to do this work for mindset work, whatever it is, this is how you start your consistency tracker. And you, you know, you set a goal for yourself, you know, after 15 days, you might want to reevaluate, re or after 30 days, you might want to reevaluate. It just kind of depends, but set that consistency tracker and get so clear. But I want to be very clear when you set this, you have to allow yourself a little bit of grace because I've had to learn some lessons along the way when it comes to the consistency, sometimes it can be challenging where we are so focused and we miss a day and then we start beating ourselves up. That's not healthy either. <laughs> and I know that. Um, so be very, be very um, cautious of that. So that way you don't have to worry about that happening to you. Just allow yourself some grace. If something comes up in your life, it's not going to be the end of the world. So when you create the thing, the tracker, do what you're what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, 
when you're going to do it with very specifics and how you're going to measure it. Write it all down, whether it's in a spreadsheet. I love using um, Google Sheets for my stuff and creating grids and then printing it off and putting it somewhere where I see it every single day. I've also put reminders in my phone and, for, and in my calendar. I have set alarms in my phone just so I'm checking in with myself throughout the day and it's getting complete. And then go in and check it off every time that you actually do what you are going to do to stay consistent with your mindset. Um, after that, I would also say accountability would be my second tip. <laughs> Get someone that is going to hold you accountable. If you cannot hold yourself accountable, then find someone that's going to hold you accountable. There's tons of places you can find accountability groups. If you want to do it in a group, if you want to reach out to one of your friends, whatever it is, find someone to hold yourself accountable. If you can't find anyone, find a coach, a mentor, someone that is willing to hold you accountable out of love and call you out in love. Hey, you said you were going to do these things. What is going on? Is it time? Are you not doing it? Because we resist the things that we don't want to do. We resist doing things that make us feel a little uncomfortable. And sometimes doing mindset work can make us feel uncomfortable because we've never done it before. I remember doing meditation and like understanding my patterns and my programming that I had. And I was like, oh, this feels really, really horrible. And I don't want to do it anymore. And I don't want to think about my past to try to work through that. All these things started coming up. And I had to understand, whoa, 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 wait a minute. That's just in your head. We're going to work through these things slowly and it's okay. And it's a safe space because a lot of times we have this fear and then we feel unsafe and then we just shut down. And so that's where you have to understand when you're going through this, you may resist some of it. And I get it. Like I've been there. <laughs> so finding someone to hold yourself accountable to the consistency tracker, you know, just share that with them. This is what I want to do, and this is what I need you to hold me accountable for. If you are going to be accountable with a friend, there's a few things I would suggest. With the friend, make sure that they can lovingly call you out. And also ask them, do they have the capacity to hold you accountable? Because some people, you know, they say, yeah, I'll hold you accountable, but they may not have the time or the capacity to actually hold you accountable. And so then you're stuck without an accountability partner. And so find someone that you can trust or someone that you know or hire a mentor or someone to help you through that. Um, for example, for me, for my clients, anyone that works with me for a business or mindset, what we do is we actually have a shared Google Drive sheet. So that way they're checking in and I can check every day or as often as I want to see if they're checking in. And then they also put notes in on what is coming up, what do they need support with, and then communicate through WhatsApp. Those are just some examples that you can take on your own if you're not ready to work for someone, work with someone. If you are ready to work with someone and you want a mentor or guide, I do have a few openings. You can go to emilyadams.net and submit your contact form. Um, primarily right now, I'm working with a lot of people that are starting businesses or have a business, um, but don't necessarily know how to grow and expand it and are also dealing with some limiting beliefs around themselves and around their business. Um, so that's kind of who I have been working with the most, but I've done both um, life coaching and business coaching as well. So kind of to recap um, with the tips that I would tell you is create that consistency tracker. That will be a game changer for you. Create the tracker, get very specific, and then find the accountability that you need so that way you continue to grow because if you don't continue to be consistent consistent in what you are trying to do, you're not going to grow. That's just bottom line. And I know that because I've went through very stagnant phases of my mindset growth period of where I was like, no, I'm not like I'm done. I don't want to do the work anymore. I've went through there. I've been through there. So staying consistent with that. So um, before I end this video, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, share this with anyone that is trying to improve their life or their business, um, where they can get some value out of this on how to stay consistent, why it's important and actually implement these steps to improve their life. Because who doesn't want a better life 
and to be consistent at something. It also gives you a sense of accomplishments. I know like I love to see that I've been consistent for so many days at something or I've hit my goals, but I'm a very goal driven person too, right? So I hope this video was helpful and until next time, go out, be the best version of yourself and um, be kind and do amazing things in your life.